Hello again, fellow Beach Bum Traders. Thank you for joining us for part two of our weekly trading game plan for the week of May 9th through May 13th. Hopefully you have already seen part one of our weekly trading game plan for this week, titled The Pit and the Pendulum, where we talk about, you know, uh, all the market input data, our outlook on the market for this week, uh, etc. That goes into updating our watch list for this week, which we will uh, now do. So stick around. Also, we will share with you towards the end of the video some further analysis of uh, VTI and VLO based on some current changes. So uh, please stick around and we'll get started. Okay, a piece that I forgot to include in this week's weekly trading game plan part one uh, is, you know, what do you do when there's blood in the streets? When we finally do reach a, a bottom, uh, we get that capitulation, etc. Then, you know, how do, how do we take advantage of that bottom? So I wanted to refer you to this previous video we did back in uh, late February about what, did, what do you do when there's blood in the streets. What you can do to find that quickly is if you go to our Beach Bomb Trading YouTube channel, you can put in the search bar, just put blood in the search bar. That should come up as the top video there. And then you can see what our strategies are for, uh, you know, buying when there's uh, blood in the streets, uh, the contrarian view, etc. Um, and again, once we reach that bottom, then uh, I would utilize those strategies uh, to take advantage of the uh, future upswing. So I hope that all helps as well. Okay, firstly, just a few updates on some of the trades that we made last week. Uh, the first is we doubled down on our long position in cold uh, for uh, to lower our cost basis and also to uh, increase our uh, profit opportunity and cold is the short on natural gas as you've seen natural gas has continued to go up to historic highs as we also saw in part one uh, it looks like it may be rolling over so, so you there's still opportunities for you to potentially get it even at a lower price than what we have uh, for this reversion in natural gas um, Again, this is a longer term position. We expect natural gas to eventually roll over and, and go back down, um, which may take some time. But uh, there's a nice profit opportunity there. So again, uh, we double down on our position in cold to short natural gas for the long term. You can hear more about our thesis on this uh, from last week's game plan as well. Uh, secondly, we went long on Kratos again, which is a uh, defense contractor. Uh, they do drones, UAVs. Um, we have swung Kratos before. Uh, it got uh, pushed down further in the market decline, as you can see. So again, there's still an opportunity for you uh, to potentially go long in Kratos as well. Kratos is also optionable, so there's an opportunity to also sell covered calls against this position, uh, which we may do if it uh, is not uh, moving back up in a timely manner. We may sell covered calls, kind of generate our own dividends for it. Um, again, uh, they're profitable, defense contractor, UAV, so they're uh, in the defense theme, which is positive. Uh, so again, there's an opportunity for you in Kratos, KTOS. Uh, we also went long big on SVXY, which is the leverage ETF, which is short on the VIX. Again, in part one, you can see uh, the spike in the VIX. Uh, if you've been listening to our game plans for some period of time, um, you, you know, we've had this uh, buy sitting out there at the spike to catch the spike in the VIX for a long time. Uh, just waiting. We finally got that after the Fed meeting. Uh, so the VIX spiked on Thursday. Uh, we caught that um, spike. And again, we have a very large position short on the VIX. The VIX, VIX naturally reverts to the mean and retraces eventually. Uh, so we'll be looking for the VIX to eventually go back to at least uh, back down to 20 uh, for a very nice sizable profit. Um, there's still opportunity there. It has not gone down 
uh, dramatically yet. So again, uh, there's still some some opportunity uh, to short the VIX. Um, and again, given unless we hear of some other catalysts, uh, as we talked about part one, uh, again the VIX will naturally revert to its mean. Uh, and go back and retrace uh, again we expect down to near the 20 area potentially so again uh, potential 50 percent uh, retracement in the VIX which will give us a very nice profit uh, using SVXY. Just a quick reminder that you can get real-time or near real-time trade alerts when we make a trade or uh, get stopped out of a trade when we enter or exit a trade as quickly as possible. Uh, be our Patreon, which is patreon.com beach bum trading, which you can see here. Uh, we post that and you'll automatically get an email of our uh, trade update and or in our Discord, which again you get access to via our membership in our Patreon uh, in the thinkorswim um, alerts under the alerts category we again get alerted automatically uh, we set an alert uh, when an order gets triggered it automatically posts to the thinkorswim alert category and then again we will update that if uh, the order is actually filled with the details of that trade uh, and or in the trade alerts section uh, if we enter a trade that was not necessarily alerted through thinkorswim so again we hope this all helps just a reminder if you want to get real-time alerts uh, when we make or exit a trade uh, this is uh, the various ways that you can do so so again we hope this all helps okay now let's talk about updates to our real-time watch list for this week uh, firstly we're putting uh, big, big lots, B-I-G, into the game, into our real-time watch list from our bullpen. Uh, so again, you can hear our thesis from previous uh, game plans, but they're a discount store, you know, a big box discount store. Uh, so that is positive for the theme where we think the consumer, due to inflation, is going to start trading down uh, in retail and go to your more discount and dollar stores. Uh, they pay a dividend it's optionable and you can see they have uh, appeared to establish a very nice support area right around that 30 uh, so we are going to watch big for an opportunity uh, to swing that uh, we're going to remove dt dt dtea which is the canadian tea company uh, it broke down through support so we're going to remove dt from our watch list uh, DRV we're going to remove because that is the short on real estate. Um, if you caught that swing, uh, it's already run up. Uh, again, if you caught that, I think that's a great opportunity. Uh, but we're not going to chase it at this point, so we're going to remove it from our watch list. FDP, again, another one from our bullpen. Uh, we put that in the game, put it in our real-time watch list from our bullpen on uh, 5-4 on May 4th. Again, we've been talking about agricultural products and FTP, Fresh Del Monte, for some period of time. It now appears that it has uh, established some support um, and uh, we'll be looking to go long FTP, assuming it will swing back up. FKWL is another one from our bullpen. Again, you can see how, uh, you know, having these in our bullpen, we revisit them at the end of the day. Uh, if it looks like it has become an attractive setup, we put them in the game, add them to our real-time watch list. So we're also going to add FKWL. It's communication equipment. Um, I believe they do some 5G type stuff. So again, on the second, we uh, put them in the game from our bullpen. Uh, we can see again it has come down bounced a little bit so we we would like to see that double bottom uh, it's a low float so it's a little choppy so uh, give it and again it'll be dependent on uh, market conditions um, but uh, we're going to put FK, fkwl into our real-time watch list uh, for this week and see see how that goes uh, K2S, uh, we, as we mentioned, we're already long K2S. If you are not, uh, still an opportunity for you. 
MJ uh, is the ETF on the cannabis industry, and it's uh, just trailing off. It broke down through support. It looks like it's just declining. Uh, we'll, it's in our ETF watch list. We'll keep an eye on it, but right now uh, there's no reason, uh, in our opinion, to continue to watch it. Uh, OBCI, again, another one that uh, broke down through its support. We had been watching it for some period of time. Uh, we canceled out our order uh, that we had sitting at 751 because the market was driving everything down uh, and it pushed OBCI through support. We still like OBCI, but again, given the current market conditions that are uh, risk off and, and OBCI is a, a lower market cap company, um, and again, it's uh, uh, more of a d consumer discretionary type item than a, a necessity. So uh, given market conditions, we're going to remove OBCI off the watch list for now. Uh, similarly with pets, Pet Med Express, again, uh, it broke down through support. Given the current market conditions, uh, we had put it in the, our real-time watch list from the bullpen on the 3rd. Uh, but since it has broken down, and again, given the market conditions, which are negative toward e-commerce, um, again, consumer discretionary versus necessity, uh, we're going to wait for pets to establish a, a new stable bottom, a new support level. Uh, we like pets, but again, given market conditions, um, there's a tail headwinds for them that will remove them from the watch list right now. Uh, PPLT is the ETF long on platinum, um, and again, it already run up as we saw in part one, uh, so again, we're not going to chase it right now. It's in our ETF watch list. We'll continue to watch it, but uh, for now, we'll take PPLT off of our watch list. Uh, similarly, ROQ, uh, they had some kind of uh, positive uh, earnings, and it, it started to run up. Uh, we'll, uh, it, it looks like it might be coming back down, so we're going to put it back in our bull, bullpen. We're going to move it down to our bullpen, keep an eye on it at the end of the day, and see if it establishes a, a double bottom, a support level, and then we'll move it back up. And then uh, VOO and VTI, we're going to add to our real-time watch list, uh, both of them. And at the end, uh, or near the end of this video, uh, we'll talk about this further and, you know, why, why we're looking at both VOO and VTI. So now we'll review what we've got on our watch list for this week. Just a quick reminder that if you would like to get notified of any updates to our watch list that we make intra-week, up to daily, uh, we post those in to our Patreon, which is patreon.com beachbum trading. You'll get notified automatically via email and or in the stock watch list under the watch list category in our Discord. Again, we will post any updates to our watch list interweek, up to daily, uh, in, to our Patreons, and also in the stock watch list channel in our Discord. So again, if you would like to get automatically notified of any interweek updates to any of our watch lists, uh, these are the various ways that you could do so, and we hope this all helps. So just a real quick review of what we've got on our real-time watch list for this week. We just ta talked about big, big lots. We just talked about that we're adding FDP, Fresh Del Monte. Uh, we talked that we're adding FKWL also from the bullpen. Uh, we talked about that uh, we're long on cold, but there's still an opportunity. Again, this is the short on natural gas. So uh, if you uh, want to take that opportunity, uh, again, that is looking good for an eventual re uh, retracement. Natural gas may take some time. It may continue to go up uh, given the global conditions, but eventually uh, it will go back down. LEU is a uranium play and we've swung that it went up uh, we got stopped out uh, pretty much break even it's come back down uh, you can see they kind of spiked it down uh, it had uh, some uh, negative earnings so they spiked it down and immediately bounced back up uh, so if that holds uh, we'll swing you some more mark we've talked about for a couple weeks um, it's an ai company um, 
uh, interesting it's held up quite well even with all the pressure and tech so we're going to leave it on our watch list it looks like it's kind of uh, held the support double bottom triple bottom um, so again we're going to leave mark there and if it uh, swings back up again it made this previous spike uh, there wasn't any news i saw uh, so it looks like there might be something going on there uh, that was positive as we mentioned we're going to remove uh, mj from the watch list again it's just trailing off so we're going to remove that uh, again, as we mentioned, we're long big on SVXY, but there's still a nice opportunity there. Uh, we caught this this bottom spike, this capitulation in the VIX uh, where it spiked up, and so it's starting to retrace. Uh, again, opportunity for you if you want to take that. And again, we'll talk about VOO. Uh, as, as you've heard in our game plans, we've had long-term buys on VOO and VTI. We've gone back and forth, and we'll tell you uh, how we're positioned now uh, in those regards. And then we talked about uh, WPRT. We've had that also on the watch list for some period of time. It's a fuel system, a hydrogen related, and even though it's kind of a low float, it does seem to be holding up at that support level. Uh, so we're still looking to go long on Westport. So that's what we've got on our real-time watch list for this week. And now let's look at some of our other watch lists, our bullpen, etc. Uh, for this week. Okay, let's talk about updates to our bullpen uh, watch list of stocks. And if you happen to be new to our Beach Bum Trading community, the concept of the bullpen is a list of stocks that we're watching at the uh, pretty much the end of the day. They're not in our real-time watch list, uh, but we'll revisit them at the end of the day and see if the setup looks attractive. If so, we'll move them up into our real-time watch list. And you see we've had a number of them that we identified at the end of the day that were attractive, and therefore we moved them up into um, our real-time watch list. So. Uh, some of the changes we're making to our bullpen for this week is we're going to remove FRD uh, from the bullpen. It's already run up. We're not going to chase it. That was a, a low, lower float uh, steel company. Again, all your commodities, etc., have run up pretty much. So uh, we're not going to chase that. We're going to remove it. And we'll revisit if it becomes attractive again. Um, an old favorite, an old friend we're adding back to our bullpen is O, Realty Income. This is a monthly dividend paying REIT. Uh, we sw swing O on a regular basis. It has a nice cycle uh, where it, uh, and we'll, we'll see it's coming back down to that 65 area. Um, uh, due to pressure on, on real estate in general is pushing it down. Um, I think that's irrational. In, in O's case, it's a dividend aristocrat, meaning they c uh, continuously uh, increase their dividend payment. And it's a great, uh, again, it's real estate. It's not mortgage-based real estate. It's more commercial real estate. Uh, they had decent occupancy, decent earnings, and it went down. Uh, so again, uh, we really like O, and we'd love to get a nice chunk uh, of O again. So we'll put it on the bullpen, wait for it to come down to the 65 or below, and uh, take another swing at O and possibly hold that uh, as an inflation hedge. So uh, we talked about pets. We're moving it down to our bullpen uh, to wait for it to stabilize and swing back up. Um, we're going to remove USEG. Again, this was a smaller cap uh, oil company. Uh, it ran up finally, and uh, uh, we, we're not going to chase it. We didn't catch it, and we're not going to chase it. Uh, so we're going to take it off the bullpen. Uh, VOO, we're going to talk about further. And as you can see, we put both VOO and VTI on a real-time watch list. Um, Yang is the short on China, particularly uh, tech stocks, Chinese tech stocks. It already ran up. Uh, so we're going to remove that one from the bullpen, but we're going to add in its inverse, which is yin, Y-I-N-N, -N, which is the inverse of yang. So because uh, the Chinese tech stocks went down, yang went up, which means yin went down. And so we're going to look for a very short-term scalp or swing trade on yin. 
Um, again, with the lockdowns in China, they had slowing GDP, etc. The uh, issues with potential sanctions uh, due to their uh, support of Russia in the Ukraine war, etc. Uh, there was a number of catalysts that drove Chinese stocks down. Uh, although uh, recently the uh, Communist Party uh, had said they would support uh, their companies and would potentially uh, allow some kind of audit, which previously let the Chinese tech stocks spike up. So again, these these are great. We don't want to hold anything in China for any kind of long term, uh, but using these two ETFs, we can swing these various catalysts back and forth uh, and make some nice profit by uh, scalping the Chinese stock. So again, Right now, Yang is up, Yin's down, so we're going to swing in uh, for a very short-term scalp uh, swing trade. So again, if you're a uh, you know, shorter-term scalper, uh, these are great for just scalping back and forth and making a uh, nice profit. So now we'll review what we've got in our bullpen, and then we'll continue. Okay, again, a quick review of what we've got in our bullpen now for uh, this week. Uh, is AVO, which is an avocado agricultural product. Again, we're watching Ethereum. Uh, we're looking for a bottom down in the 24, 23 area. We can see it's declining. Uh, again, uh, you can hear in our past uh, uh, game plans why we like Ethereum. Uh, maybe we'll do a more detailed due diligence on that uh, to explain that. But again, we, we'd like to see the bottom. Uh, and Ethereum and again cryptocurrencies right now are declining on the risk off uh, move. FRD, uh, we talked about we're going to remove FRD as it's already run up. So we'll take that off. Again, you can see how, how easy it is to quickly and easily update your watch list in Weeble. Just right click, hit delete. Uh, Grow is a cryptocurrency, gold, gold etc. investment company. Uh, they pay a dividend, so you can see it, it's starting to look attractive. If, if it holds support, uh, we might uh, be moving that up. We talked about O, oh, as you can see, it's starting to come down. Uh, if it comes down to the 65, it looks like it's around 65. Uh, so somewhere in this range, we'd like to swing O again. Uh, we talked about ROQ, we're moving down, you can see it ran up, it looks like it might be coming down. Uh, if it holds this support level, again, uh, you can see the dramatic uh, activity when they had earnings. So initially people pushed it down, then they said, oh, that wasn't so bad. Uh, so it, it went up and then the pressure on the market is driving it down. So uh, we'll, we'll kind of see see if it'll hold the support and if so uh, you can see in our due diligence video on Roku why we think they're a little different and why we still like Roku long long term. Uh, these three are all treasury related and we've talked about in part one you know our thesis on treasuries we're just kind of waiting for uh, a stable bottom and then we'll look at how we want to swing treasuries. VITL again another agricultural product uh, you can see it's kind of run up right now. Uh, we'll, we'll kind of see what how it behaves. It's a little bit of a low float. Uh, so we'll see if we get an opportunity there or not. WYY's technology infrastructure. You can see it's, again, another low float. Uh, so it's very choppy. It ran up. Uh, we're kind of looking for a stable support level bottom around 3-ish or so. Uh, so we'll keep an eye on it and see. And then we just talked about... Uh, yang and yin. Uh, yin again is the long on Chinese tech stock so you can see uh, it's kind of has a double bottom somewhere around this uh, 330 area. Uh, it bottomed at 312 so uh, we're, we're going to keep an eye on it and see if there's an opportunity at, at this double bottom area to uh, swing yin back for again very very short term scalp. You can see it's pretty pretty volatile even in the pre-market so and after hours so there was a 5 p.m. spike uh, and again it's going to be very sensitive to news coming out of China etc so again short-term scalp swing we'll keep an eye on it and see if there's an opportunity uh, in that area 
So again, that's what's in our bullpen for next uh, week. Again, we, we typically revisit these at the end of the day, check the setups. If there's something that looks attractive, we'll move it up into our real-time watch list. Uh, if it looks like it run away or broken down, then we'll just remove it from the bullpen. Uh, again, we have scanners and queries that identify uh, further opportunities, and that's then what we uh, use to identify those we want to add to our bullpen and watch list as well. So we hope that all helps. Right now, as of the filming of this video, Webull is offering five free stocks when you open and fund an account. Typically, they offer two or more free stocks, but sometimes they have special promotions, so please check our link to Webull in the description box below. Which you can also find on the About page or the header of our YouTube channel, Beachbone Trading YouTube channel, and or in the link section at the bottom of the About page, and or in the link section under Trading Platforms on our home page, BeachbumTrading.com, bum without the U. And again, if you use our affiliate link to Webull, you can currently get five free stocks when you open and fund an account, and you can see those stocks can be up to $3,000 upon funding your account. So we hope that all helps. Okay, as we had previously mentioned, uh, you heard we now have both VOO and VTI in our uh, real-time watch list, so we're looking to go long on both of those uh, potentially. Uh, and l let me explain a little bit about why that, that's the case. Uh, you can s listen to, if you haven't already seen our previous video recently released, uh, we did an analysis of VOO versus VTI versus VT. Uh, based on some additional information we learned from a video on Joseph Hogue and we did our analysis on them at that point in time and at that time uh, we had uh, selected VOO and put our long uh, good to cancel buys on VOO versus VTI. So um, as an update to that video what we'll see is if we look at them in our watch list now we can see that VTI after that video was made uh, made a new 52 week low so when that happened um, I wanted to see if that would change that analysis change the risk reward profile of VTI versus VOO so I entered that new 52 week low into my comparison worksheet uh, Google sheet and what we can see is based on that new 52 week low the risk reward profile for uh, VTI is now slightly higher than what it was for VOO uh, so again it's it's just slightly better 1.2 versus 1.18 1.19 uh, so, you know, very similar, but again, the, the 52 week is a little bit better and it also boosted the, the um, support to resistance. If I say the support is at that 52 week low, uh, we can see there's a resistance level um, up in the 230s, you know. So, um, again, based on that, the risk reward profile for VTI becomes more attractive than V. VOO. Now again, as is mentioned in that video, uh, there's a large degree of overlap between those two. So what we're doing right now is we've split our orders. We've got good to large uh, good to cancel buy orders sitting on both of them, uh, but we put the larger one on VTI right now, um, and we left the other one sitting on VOO. So again, uh, whichever of those bottoms again and triggers our buy order so you can see you know we've got it that sitting just above that 52 week low at 20312 and then we've got the one on VOO uh, sitting at um, 37213 which is uh, it's uh, low from before again we may take it and move it up to that three uh, 37234 to get it to hit um, Again, we just, uh, on Friday, the indices uh, were going down, and then they had a, a slight bounce back, 
and uh, it didn't quite trigger our orders. Uh, so we're just looking for, you know, a downward push, trigger our orders. Uh, again, if we get a split between VO and VTI, since again, there, there's a lot of overlap, we're fine with that. Uh, and we'll get a mixture, we'll get the, the little bit more attractive uh, risk to reward with VTI. Again, now if this changes and VOO makes a, a more dramatic low, then we'll adjust these numbers and adjust our orders accordingly to take advantage of the best uh, risk reward profile. Since again, these two pay, as you'll see in that video, they essentially pay the same dividend, they have the same cost, uh, they're both Vanguard index uh, funds. So and they're both optionable, uh, so that there isn't a whole lot of other uh, distinguishing factors other than, you know, what stocks are in them. The VTI is a total market, so it's like 4,000 or something stocks, and VOO is just over 500 stocks because it's the S&P 500. Uh, so again, uh, having the split uh, we're comfortable with at this time, and I think either one would be fine. Uh, so that's that's what we're doing with uh, VOO and VTI. We have them both in our watch list. We have orders on both of them. We'll take advantage of whichever one hits. Um, and you know, we if one hits, we might shift our order, our other order, to that one, especially if it becomes more attractive. So uh, we hope that all helps. In terms of shopping list stocks, again, I would recommend that you review. Our previous video on what to do when there's blood in the streets we go into more detail about you know how to build a shopping list how you uh, play the contrarian and buy when there's blood in the streets and why you do that etc that's explained in more detail in that video uh, additional considerations in, in picking the stocks to keep on your shopping list right now is uh, as we talked about in part one uh, you know, you want to start thinking about recession proofing your portfolio. So those things uh, that if we do go into a recession, and again, my personal opinion is that we're headed for one. Uh, so the things on our shopping list want to be things that are recession proof. Um, also, we know we've got a rising interest rate uh, environment. And again, you can see our previous video about how to make money in uh, mid rising interest rates. Uh, we have hot inflation we've been talking about um, and you know so we've got a hawkish fed so we we know all of these things so we want to make sure anything on our shopping list fits those criteria uh, they're recession proof uh, they're going to do well in a rising interest rate environment and uh, when you know the Fed's selling off their their Treasury bonds, etc. So again, uh, revisit your shopping list. Uh, make sure that those things are going to be uh, recession proof, uh, not sensitive to interest rates, not sensitive to uh, the global events that are going on. You know they're not uh, dependent on China or Russia or what's going on uh, over there, and they're not going to be negatively impacted. Again, we see recurring supply chain issues, so again, you don't want something that's sensitive to that as well in the shorter term. So uh, we hope that all helps. The content of this video was produced by Beach Bum Trading. We hope you will choose to also join us in the Beach Bum Trading community and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Visit us at our homepage at beachbumtrading.com, the bum without the U. Similarly on Twitter, Beach Bum Trading, bum without the U. On Facebook and in our Beach Bum Trading Facebook group. Please follow us on Pinterest and on Instagram. All of the links to our social media sites will be included in the description box below. And we hope you will choose to subscribe to our Beach Bum Trading YouTube channel and follow us on social media. Thank you. We also cordially want to invite you to our new Beach Bum Trading Community Discord server. Where we can have discussions on all topics related to trading, success in trading, investing, etc. You can see uh, alerts when we make trades, changes to our watch list, etc. So again, please join us in the new Beach Bum Trading Community Discord server. You should be able to find a link in the description box below. You can also find a link in the social media category 
on our web page, beachbumtrading.com, without the bum without the U, and also in the link section on the about page of our YouTube channel, etc. So again, we look forward to seeing you in the Beach Bum Trading Community Discord server soon. Wave and say hello. We hope that you like our weekly game plan for the trading week for this week. Thank you for watching the video to the end. If you found this helpful, we hope that you will choose to subscribe to our Beach Plum Trading YouTube channel. And please click the bell icon below to automatically be notified whenever we publish a new video. Please also share this with your fellow traders and friends via the share button included below. And let us know if you found our weekly game plans helpful in the comments uh, included below. And uh, let us know how we can improve. What would you like to see more, less of, etc. Thank you again for watching. Uh, good luck and have a great trading week. Bye. If you like this video, we hope you will choose to subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking on the box in the upper left hand corner. You can watch another video like this by clicking on the box in the lower right hand corner. And we have a whole playlist of videos like this that you can access via the box in the upper right hand corner. Our latest video is available in the box in the lower left hand corner. We hope you like this and have a great day.